AI, nothing for fish eggs up there. Just this week, scientists found the remains of a prehistoric sea monster on a remote Arctic island. It may be a new species never before seen on this planet. Uh, uh, until it disappeared. Uh, this comes at the time of, of an another amazing discovery, a mummified dinosaur that could change a lot about what we know about prehistoric creatures. Tyler Lyson was only 19, uh, 17 when he stumbled upon the dinosaur he named Dakota on his farm out in North Dakota. Good morning to you. Good morning. What's extraordinary about this is... It's a whole dinosaur. There's skin and bones. Right. This is a jackpot. Exactly. Most of the time, you know, as we're paleontologists, we just have the dinosaur bones to go from. But with this dinosaur, we right. have, you know, a complete three-dimensional skin envelope around how, the bones. How did, how did, did nature do this? Nature, nature did do this. this. We're currently working out the process of... Uh, mummification in dinosaurs, but we do know that the dinosaur had to be buried, you know, very, very rapidly, it's and it had to be buried in just the right uh, geochemical environment in order for this thing to be petrified the way that it did. Okay, so Tyler, you grew up in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. I find it amazing that you just sort of, in your backyard while you're growing up, I find a lot of dinosaur bones. I mean, that's amazing. This is 67 million years old. Right, yeah, and I've been, I've been looking for fossils basically, basically my entire life, and I was very fortunate mm -hmm. to grow up in, in such an area and uh, received training from sure. uh, from various vertebrate paleontologists at a very, very young age. Do you know what you could sell those things for on eBay? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to give you 25 bucks for a, like, part of a T-Rex or something like that. But let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. So you've got skin, mummified skin, and bones and joints and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Any DNA? Uh, there's no DNA, ah. unfortunately. I mean, not with current technology, and I would be, in my opinion, I'd be very surprised if we were, were ever able to pull out DNA. So, sorry, but uh, no cloning dinosaurs. Puts, not yet. And put simply, what happened that enabled, for the first time that we know, for the, the skin to be preserved like this? Well, this, this is buried right away, but how? It was buried very rapidly in a flash flood. And what's very interesting, there, very interesting there was a crocodile that got kind of mixed up with, with this dinosaur. So we have a... Uh, so they may be uh, uh, away at the end? Well, there's m most likely the crocodile was scavenging on this dinosaur, Amazing. on this mummified dinosaur. But this is a one of only six mummified dinosaurs that has, that have, that has ever been found. You know, found. I think yeah. Tyler's kind of smart. He's getting his PhD at Yale no, in I paleontology. <laughs> and you can watch this special on National Geographic, right? Yes, December that's right. 9th, 9 p.m. Fascinating stuff, Tyler. This Sunday. Tyler, thank you very much much. Oh, thank you guys. The offer stands. 50 bucks now for part of a T-Rex. <laughs> 75! I, I think I'll hold off. Hey, remember the last guy came in with mammoth hair? Yeah. That's right. Bring us a gift next time. <laughs> yeah, we did get some we'll woolly mammoth. We got 25,000 year old uh, woolly mammoth hair. And coffee. Oh, wow. Yeah, science teacher in my uh, town has it. 